Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Tarot. Tarot to do a quick read for you. I pulled already um, from the Fallen Angels deck, Epos, um, and actually the deck. I don't know if, if you. By the way, if you're interested in the decks, um, they there's the links for them in the description. So if you're interested in these, um, for example, this is the uh, Fallen Angels deck. Um, this one, and I pulled. Epos, which is this card right here, and I can't pick it up because my nails are too freaking short. I cut my nails really short um, on my left hand because I'm back into playing guitar, which the guitars are outside right now on my patio. But anyway, um, this is Epos. The key word is caution, okay? So Epos, it says, be careful. Um, real joy is an offer, but selfishness and overcalculation could ruin it. So yours or someone else's um, just... Real joy is on offer, but selfishness and overcalculation could ruin it. Okay, so from the uh, Mausolea Oracle of Souls, and it's this deck right here, and I'm going to be reading this, but um, this deck is actually this one, and the Dark Mirror are really, just really good decks. They're dark in nature, but they, they have a lot of really deep wisdom. So we pulled um, the card called Abraham. Um, he's the Justice of Pandemonium. Um, the key, three key words are justice, truth, and duty. And I feel like Libra and Sagittarius folks, um, justice and truth are very, very much um, a, a huge part of their lives, very core part of their lives is justice and truth. So it says, and I don't know if I'm, yeah, I'm going to need the glasses. <laughs> it's tiny. Okay, so it says, uh, Abraham the Justice of Pandemonium, known for his wisdom and his dedication to justice and truth in both life and death, the once mortal Abraham is the judge of pandem pandemonium. He can see through any falsity or subterfuge and determine the worthiness or unworthiness of those who come before his court. Although he arrived in the afterlife, ragged, broken, and stripped of himself, that which is most real in himself persevered. His moral integrity, his dedication to justice and duty, his personal honor. Abraham shows us the truth of our temporal selves. What is, what's in us worth keeping balanced against what is unworthy in our future selves and best abandoned in the wastes so it, it basically helps you sort out what what's worth having in your life what is it so that's i guess a key theme here it's gonna be a key theme in your your reading apparently um caution and what's what's worth having so it wants me to pull a uh when I say it, by the way, I don't want to say spirit. A lot of people say spirit. I'm just going to say God, love, all one, the universe, whatever, whatever word you want to use, but I just say it. So, um, wants me to pull a super attractor card for you. So let's see. And that's this deck right here. Um, this one just has a lot of really good wisdom in it as well. Um, just, well, let's see one super attractor card. So we have, I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith in the love of the universe. I really like that. And I'll read that again. But this, it says, I let an inner sense of quiet multiply each day as I strengthen my faith in the love of the universe. So it's a good message there. Take time to meditate you know, still your mind so you can actually hear within instead of everything that's outside without. So, um, Sagittarius, let me see here. I want to do a, let's do a reading from my deck. I made a, a deck of uh, spreads. This is my deck of spreads. So, let me see here. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have? We have Epos, caution. We have Abraham, which happens to do with worth. And then you're being told to kind of still your mind. What else? So what spread What spread do we want for Sag, folks? <laughs> Not you. <laughs> Not you. But apparently someone in your life is. The name of this spread is you're an asshole. This, you have to see this. This is funny as crap. Um, so this is, this identifies someone in your life is an asshole. <laughs> it says, uh, okay, so there's five, it's a five card spread. So which deck do I want to use? I feel like I want to use this one. Like your trusty, tried and true. It's just a much easier to read for me. Um, 
This is the, um, here, I'll show you that. This is my favorite deck because, of, just because of how, um, oh my, it just, uh, maybe it's um, allergies. It's just because of how clear it is. This is my favorite one. Um, it, it just, you know, the symbolism is really easy on the cards. Um, oh, and thank you, by the way, for everybody who has hit like, share, and subscribe. Um, you've been you've been making my channel grow, and I appreciate that. So thank you again. And anybody who has not, and you find value in this, please do hit subscribe. Um, so we got a pop out, and you have the five of wands. So there's some kind of discord or fighting or some some kind of fighting. Things aren't smooth and harmonious. So let's see. But uh, that's not the card that. Okay, so I'm shuffling to do this spread, but that card popped out, so let's just see. Somebody in your life is an asshole. <laughs> Could be your partner. <laughs> Could be a friend, a neighbor, a coworker. I don't know. So, oh my God. So somebody stabbed you in the back because the, fir the first position is identifies this person. This is the person we're referring to. This person stabbed you in the back. Um, if it's, and if it's, your, if it's your person, you know, partner, um, then they may have betrayed you in some way. Um, why is he or she such an asshole? The king of wands. Um, they have a lot of passion, but maybe <laughs> they don't know when to reel it in. I don't know. So it says, um, why are they such an asshole? Um, they're full of passion. It could just be that they let it get away from them and they don't, you know, control their mouth or their response as well. They could be, you know what, they could be um, impulsive because King of Wands is kind of fiery energy. Um, so what is he, she trying to accomplish by being an asshole? Well, we have the Four Pentacles. They want to be stubborn, want to get their way, and they want to hold on to something, whether it's hold on to you, hold on to their job. They're stubbornly holding on to something. Um, look at this. Here's a symbolism. See that? I knocked something down, didn't I? <laughs> I hope <host. laughs> Here they are. This is <laughs> what they hope to accomplish. Oh, it's my one of my guitar straps. Okay. So this one was the one that was on the, uh, the Rickenbacker earlier. Uh, let's see. How can I stop this asshole from ruining my life? You know, I did this spread for Aquarius a while back. And I'm pretty sure <laughs> one of my friends... Helen probably saw this, and she probably thought of <laughs> a particular sibling <laughs> um, <laughs> as, as I read this out. Oh my god, that's so funny. All right, so how can I stop this asshole from ruining my life? Um, well, it's not the Page of Cups. It's the X card. That was on the bottom, by the way. Um, the Knight of Wands? What? Okay, so... It can't possibly be telling you to be passionate with them in return, but it looks like it. Be a player, <laughs> get jiggy with it. Here's the, the Knight of Wands. <laughs> That's what it's saying, you know, uh, how can I stop them from ruining my life? So break them off a slice? I don't know, if it's somebody, that, if, if it's a partner, if it's somebody like you, a coworker, just <laughs> don't get fired for flirting with somebody or coming on to somebody, I'm just saying. But, um, be passionate. Okay, look, I already shuffled here. I'm shuffling again. What will happen if I keep this asshole in my life? Okay, so let's, let's see here. I'm doing this one completely different. Uh, <laughs> you're just gonna, they're just gonna come in arguing and fighting and being feisty. They just want to argue. They're going to. Are, that's why we got the fighting card. They like to fight. That's why they're in They like to fight. It's what they do. They can't, they're not happy unless they're fighting with somebody. Look at this. If you keep them in your life, they're always going to be wanting to argue and fight. Come in rushing in all mad as hell. Ready to go. Wow. All right. So, Sag. <laughs> what the hell? Um, let's do Donna's Destiny. Do six cards for it. You know what? Actually, no. Before we do that, let me see something here. I want to... If Okay, think about somebody. I want you to think of a person that you're interested in. Romantically, sexually, whatever. Um, I want you to think of this person. 
think of them and we're gonna do um, what how do they feel about you how do they feel about you um, they feel like they have almost like that you're a soulmate like you they've known you forever they feel very comfortable with you um, what do they think of you overall like what is their overall thought of you as a person or whatever how do they think of you how do they identify you in their mind um, <laughs> probably a blamer okay but they, they're blaming you but they think that you you like to fight and bicker because this is what they think of you they think of you as quarrelsome I don't see that Sag is usually laid back and easygoing I think I think it's them that's quarrelsome and they just want to pass off what do they call that um, projection <laughs> they're projecting um, but that's what they think of you so what are their intentions with you what are their intentions with you what are their intentions to cry over spilled milk oh my god you do have a blamer childish blamer look at this this is their intentions why are they so butthurt? What's going on here? I know I don't like that term, but I mean, but that's <laughs> it describes how they're acting. Um, so that, and I noticed that the feed just skipped, so who knows how this is gonna sound? I already see that it's off off track, so the sound is not gonna match. That's great. That's freaking great. Um, so oh yeah, because we're going into market retrograde, so I can expect all my technology to act up again, like it did last time. So, um, what do they? What are they actually going to do with you? What are they actually going to do with you? It's the justice card. Are they seeking justice? Or are they going to make? It's not the judgment card. They're not making a judgment call. It's justice. They want to seek justice, or they want to be um, judgy. I don't know. Like in charge, commanding. They got that sword. Sword is usually like um, mental. Um, and communication, like they want to rule the communication or have the, have to say, what else, what else do they want to do with you? Cause I don't like that particular card. Um, although it has a lot of red in it, which shows passion, but at the same time, I almost feel like this person might be really stubborn. I get stubborn energy from this. Here they are thinking you're quarrelsome. Really? <laughs> I could look at them and go, bitch, please. <laughs> All right, so what What else do they intend to do with you? Um, be secret. What, it, wait, come on. The high priestess is all about being secretive and moody. Keeping their thoughts to themselves. Jeez. Um, what else do they intend to do with you? Let's just get some clarification. Yeah, be immature with their communication. They're going to get snippy. Look, they're going to spy on you. They're going to be snippy, bitchy. I would <laughs> do your own thing. Ignore them. Let them come around when they're ready. Don't, don't chase them. Don't let them spy. Let them, you know, look back and spy and see what you're, that's fine. Um, yeah. But they feel this like comfort and love with you and like they've known you forever, but they think you're quarrelsome, which is probably them. Um, they intend to just kind of act disappointed and cry over spilled milk and and then they're gonna actually try to be judgy, have the last word, be secretive, spy on you, and, and then just be childish in their com in their communication when they do talk to you. It'll be kind of snippy. Um, okay, so I always wanna call these Sag cards. These are like inspirational cards. I really like these. So let's get one card for inspiration. Uh, let me see, what do we have for y'all? We have a lot of words. Um, make peace with yourself today. Allow yourself to make mistakes. You are human. Yeah, go easy on yourself. I think normally Sages are, but um, sometimes, sometimes you're not. Um, can be hard on yourself. Um, so, Oh, who we read for next? Cancer. Fantastic. <laughs> Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We're going to be reading for them next. Um, so, Sag, what are six cards from Donna's Destiny? These are the cards that I made. I don't know. Here, let's put this.
cancer. I'm stacking shit everywhere. Look at this. I'm, I'm looking like a messy cancer, aren't I? Yeah, we're, we're messy. I'm, I'm cancer. I'm, but, but I'm moon and sag, so. Cancer sign, moon and sag. So, let me see here. Um, six cards. Down is destiny cards. You're getting a raise. Many people flirting with you. <laughs> Ask them out. Okay. You need rest. Take a break. Um, they like both sexes and romance them. Okay, so maybe if you romance this person, if you want to deal with them, I don't know. You could either just ignore them and do your own thing, or you can romance them. Maybe that'll get them to calm the hell down. Um, but you do need a break. I think they're working your nerves. So Cancer is next, and I don't know. Um, For those of you who need this, if there's any singles out there, yes, ask the person that you're interested in out. Um, yep. All right, Cancer's next, and I love you guys.